Once upon a time, nestled in a small village, there lived a devoted mother named Eliza. She woke each day to the sweet chaos of her children, the laughter of her family, and the ever-present duties of motherhood. Eliza, like many of us, found herself struggling and juggling the demands of everyday life, often feeling lost in the whirlwind of thoughts and responsibilities. But amidst this daily bustle, she felt a calling, a yearning for something deeper, a longing for peace and happiness that seemed elusive. One serene afternoon, as she sat by a gurgling brook, a wise old storyteller approached her, sensing her silent quest. With a sparkle in his eyes, he began to weave a tale of a river that flowed through the heart of the village. In this river, the storyteller said, lies a lesson about the nature of our thoughts and emotions. He described the river as a reflection of the mind, where thoughts were akin to the myriad leaves floating upon its surface. You, dear Eliza, he said, are not unlike the river. You are the silent observer witnessing the dance of thoughts. Eliza listened intently, realizing that she need not identify with each passing thought. The storyteller continued, just as the river does not become the leaves it carries, you need not become the thoughts that pass through your awareness. Inspired by the wisdom in these words, Eliza began to see her thoughts as mere ripples on the surface of her being. She found a newfound freedom in observing her thoughts much like watching leaves gracefully float downstream. During the moments of chaos or stress, she remembered the storyteller's words and visualized the river. I am the observer, she whispered to herself, feeling a sense of calm and space within. In this newfound awareness, she discovered the beauty of stepping back from the turbulence of her mind. Eliza's days continued much the same, yet within her, a subtle transformation unfolded. She no longer struggled against the thoughts, but embraced them with a gentle acknowledgement. By being the observer, she found herself standing on the banks of her thoughts, watching them ebb and flow without being swept away. In this quiet observation, Eliza began to taste the sweet nectar of inner peace. She found that by understanding herself as the timeless and serene observer, she could navigate the river of life with newfound grace. And so, dear friends, Eliza's tale serves as a reminder. Within the everyday tapestry of our lives lies the power of observing our thoughts. And in that observation, finding a deep wellspring of peace and unwavering joy. Thanks for joining us in this story. It was inspired from the teachings of a spiritual teacher named Rupert Spira. If you haven't checked out any of his books, go to the description where you can tap onto our affiliate link to purchase your own copy. As an Amazon associate, we make a small commission of qualified purchases. Thanks for joining. Hope to see you next time.